Hello students, uh, today we'll talk about shopping, shopping for clothes. I know that most of you love shopping for clothes, so today we will practice the expressions that we use uh, in when we actually shop for clothes. Okay, here in the slide you can see uh, Seb and his mom buying a new shirt for the disco. If you remember from the last video, of, or from the previous videos actually, uh, Seb is going to a disco party and he doesn't have uh, smart clothes. So today he is going shopping with his mom to buy some smart clothes. Uh, let's see uh, what kind of clothes are they looking for and which expressions uh, do they use in their conversation. Unit six, students book page 68. Exercise 1. Listen and read. Seb and his mum are buying a new shirt for the disco. What about this one, Seb? Do you like it? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, go and try it on. Excuse me, can I try this on? Sure, the changing rooms are over there. Oh, it's too small. Excuse me, have you got this shirt in a bigger size? Yes, we have. And have you got it in a different colour? Yes, we've got it in blue. Can I try the blue one on? Which one do you prefer? Mmm, I like the blue one. How much is it? £14.99. Is that okay? Hmm, that isn't too expensive. <laughs> Let's get it. Okay. Uh, you listen to the dialogue between Seb and his mom trying to buy a, a shirt. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to complete this dialogue. It's Luke talking uh, to his dad. Actually, they are shopping. Two. So here in the box, you can see from A to G, you have the expressions that needed uh, to be used in the dialogue. Take your time and write. You can use only the letters because it doesn't have uh, a lot of space in the book. So just write the letters of each expression. Take your time. Okay, let's see. So, number two is D. Yes, we have. Uh, number three is A. Yes, we've got it in black or gray. Uh, number four is G. Yes, of course. Number five is F. Which one do you prefer? Number six is C. 25 pounds 99. And the last one is E. Uh, let's get it. Okay, in the slide you can see uh, some expressions that were used in both dialogues when shopping for clothes. Excuse me is one of the expressions that we need to get somebody's attention, right? Uh, can I try this on? So when you want to see if it fits or if it suits you, then of course uh, you make this question to the shop assistant. Can I try this on? Have you got it in a bigger, smaller size, for example? If it doesn't fit you, uh, you make this question. Have you got it in a different color? If you want uh, to check other colors of that cloth, uh, you ask this question. Uh, and in the end, of course, you ask how much is it? You want to know the price of the cloth. And let's get it in the end if you decide to get that uh, thing that you want to buy. Here you have another example of a conversation uh, when shopping. Uh, take your time and read it and you can also, they are underlined the, the expressions that we, we use when shopping for clothes. Uh, so take your time and read it. I can read it for you too. Uh, so Lucy, Tui and Jane are out shopping for a new dress. 
Come over here, Jane, and have a look at this dress. Oh yes, it looks lovely. Why don't you try it on in the fitting room? It looks like it will fit you. I better try it on. Last time I bought a dress, it was baggy and did not fit properly. Let me hold the hanger while you try it on. Thanks, Tui. If you need a different size, just ask and I will get it for you. What do you think? Does it look good? Perfect. It fits you and you look very pretty in it. I agree, it really suits you, Lucy. Why do you want to buy a dress anyway, Lucy? I'm going to my brother's 30th, 30th birthday party and I want to look my best. There are some designer dresses over there that look nice as well. I think I will buy this one. Is this dress in the sale? Yes, the label says it is 30% off. Great, let's go to pay for it. Come on. Okay, this was another uh, dialogue that uh, people have while shopping and maybe uh, you could use some of the expressions if you go shopping when uh, in places where uh, Albanian is not uh, spoken only English, right? Uh, in, for homework, you will complete page 59 in your activity book. Uh, there are uh, some uh, dialogues there too related to shopping and you will practice uh, some more. Okay, students, this was all about today's lesson. Uh, you can go shopping now for clothes. <laughs> See you in the next video.